Hey, hey guys. guys. Hey, welcome to our channel or welcome back. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Today, guys, today is Tuesday. It's our buy Tuesday, so we normally don't mow today, but we are at a yard that we mow pretty much once a month, every, every three weeks, give or take a few days or so or whatever. So it just happened to fall on today. So we're here. <laughs> we're going to do this yard today with you guys. And if you've been following along or if you haven't, guys, this is the yard. The last time we were here, <laughs> we flew the drone into the tree. Into that big, tall, fluffy tree. The you guys, y'all can't tell on film. I feel like it's not doing it justice. That tree. I mean, it's, it's 80 It's got to be 80 feet at least that. And I'm almost wanting to say 100 because, guys, it's so tall. And it flew into the top, almost the top. I'm talking about way up there. You know, and Harley, he had to climb it, guys. He climbed that was it. Crazy, man. And he got up there and he was able to start shaking the branches. And uh, <laughs> I caught it with a towel. So praise the Lord yeah. for that. It was okay. Because honestly, guys, we hadn't had it very long. That was only, I think that was the first day that we had actually flown it on yep. yards. Yep. That's what I'm remembering, <laughs> if I'm remembering correctly. Then, yeah. yeah, guys. So that's pretty much been about a month ago. We're standing here next to a pond and like we normally see like sometimes we see the fish but we've tried to record it and then they go down but i don't know if they'd be able there's to even a see big it big old catfish just sitting there yeah and there's a cute little duck over there <laughs> too but uh guys yeah we're out here we're in the wilderness today we are way out here where cell phone service does not exist internet who's heard of that no one like <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah guys um a few things i wanted to say really quick before we get started um shout out if you guys have been following along then you know that darwin script was so kind to gift us um one They're of their our sponsor right yeah. now they sponsored us with the darwin's grip pro <laughs> yes and you guys have seen it uh in a few of our videos so far but guys we linked them to the video that we made and guys they were so kind they were so so kind guys they're sending me one for my weed eater and they're gonna send us another one to do a giveaway free giveaway to <laughs> for one of y'all for one of you guys that's yeah. so awesome so guys if you're in lawn care if you have a business or if you're um if you're just a residential homeowner that does you know have a property where you do a good bit of weeding weed eating or even if it's not you know even if it's just a little bit of weed eating i feel like guys that's really gonna save your yeah. back because honestly yep. i cannot guys they're i normally looking out for your health they're looking out for your, your long-term back health and yeah it'll really help and i haven't even used it as much you know because like there have like here recently harley's been doing um a good bit of extra weed eating so we've been having to use both so i haven't been using it as much but i can just tell from the times that i have been using it my shoulder pain is it's almost gone guys i used to be in so much pain in my shoulder just right you know right here and it was just the angle you know that i was holding that at and i can tell you know just from you know, just a little bit of not doing that, I, it's improving. And the, my posture, you know, it's making me stand up straighter. So, guys, that is a, so great. So, look out for that video. When we get it, I'm going to install mine on my weed eater. And, guys, we're going to um, we're gonna pick some money and, we're gonna, you know, to give it away. So, guys, the requirements to win, guys, please be subscribed to our channel. When I put the video out, you know, and I'll say all this, you know, again uh, in, the, in the video. But, um you have to like and comment on that video. So guys, you know, so I'll repeat it again in that video so you don't have to remember from this or in case you don't even see this. If you don't see this, you're not gonna see this. Why am I even saying it? <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so that's the requirements. Be subscribed to our channel and like and comment on that video. So be looking out for that, guys. We're gonna do it as soon as we get it. Also, thank you guys so much for responding when we ask you questions in the videos and you guys come back yeah. and you, you answer and you're um, communicating with us because that means so much to us, guys. And we, we love you and we appreciate you so very much. And uh, Okay, so after saying that, it is now time for... <laughs> the subscriber shout out. <laughs> All right, guys. And today, the subscriber that we're going to shout out is... Lawn Commander from Canton, North Carolina. He's got some videos, man. Go check them out. He's got a good setup, good equipment. <laughs> yes, guys, please. I don't know if you can see these gnats are flying around. It's like crazy. But yes, please go check his channel out. Guys, he looked like he has some really awesome. He has one of those mowers that's with the deck in the front. It's really neat, guys. Please go check him out. But uh, yeah, and after this, since we, we're, you know, we're only mowing this one yard today, when we get done, we'll take you guys back to the house because my mower actually just hit another 25 hour mark so it's needing the air filter cleaning so 
we'll have Harley show you guys how we do that. So, uh, all right, guys, I guess I've said it all. So, come on. Let's, Let's go, go mow.
right guys we just finished up uh you saw in the last clip it was pretty funny i didn't thought i was getting attacked but it was my weed eater line so when i get my darwin's grip that won't be happening anymore but uh yeah and i was thinking to myself too because i told you guys that we only mow this yard pretty much once a month and i just wanted to let you guys know that we normally would not Take mow yards that, yeah. with that length of time in between there's only you know situational stuff like this is a very sweet couple that we know i like to consider them good friends and this is just an empty piece of land there is no home or anything on this land yes. they actually do yes like their plans is to one day have a home built on this land so if you keep following along like lord willing in the future you might see a house up there <laughs> and i know they would they would love that because their dream is to live on this property one day and i honestly don't blame them but uh but yeah this so it's just situational so it would be like something like this and they do pay us accordingly because this yard was very very thick and you did see me go over it a couple of times and like so they do pay us accordingly for that length of time so just know that um yeah. and good people really good people yes and um <clears throat> or it would have to be a yard something like there was mostly a lot of moss or something like that you know that was a very very slow growing or a very shady yard something that was very very slow growing before we would put you know three weeks in between a mow i just wanted to let you guys know that i'm seeing those fish over there right now i know it. but uh i got a little clip of them earlier i don't know i don't think you guys can see them i got a little clip earlier of one i don't know how good you can see them but there's two of them right there now together but uh we flew the drone did not fly into a tree so <laughs> Go us. <laughs> that was, see a snake this time. Yeah, that's what I was, I was thinking too. Because last time we were here and I was weed eating, I had it on time lapse when I was uh, recording this, so you couldn't really tell. But I kind of jumped back at one point because I seen a big, huge snake, and it was on your side, the side you was weed eating. So that's what I was thinking. I was like, oh, if it's in here, it's gonna be on his side. Yeah, I was looking. It was good though. It's all good. <laughs> but no, but yeah, guys. So if you're ever, you know, anytime you go out into the wilderness and the woods, anywhere you're at, and. and you know, it doesn't have to be as rural as this. It can be, you know, in a city area. You know, always just be yeah. cautious and aware, you know, of your surroundings. So, you know, you guys just always be careful, you know, and just have an eye out for stuff like that. We don't never want anybody, you know, to get hurt, you know. So. Where, we're he where we are at here, there's only two kinds of poisonous snakes we got to worry about, and that's copperheads and rattlesnakes. Yeah, and the rattlesnakes are very, very rare. I've honestly never seen a rattlesnake here in Tennessee but other people have told me they have. Honestly, just right down the road from here. They call them uh, mountain rattlers here. I don't know what their technical name is or nothing like that, but they're in the mountains. Yeah, one of the old timers that we know told us just right down the road from here, they have seen one of the biggest rattlesnakes they've ever seen in their life. So, so you always, just always, always, always be on the lookout for stuff like that. You know, protect yourself. You know, anytime you step out, you know, of, of human boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> where we normally stay at. And anytime you go into their territory, just be aware, guys. And, and I know that most of you guys know that, and you are. But, um, but yeah, guys, so, uh, all right. So, we're pretty much, we're finished up here. So, we're just going to go into the house, and Harley's going to show you guys how we change our air filter, or we how we clean our air filter. So, uh, all right, guys, come on. Let's ride. Let's ride.
Alrighty guys, we're home as you just seen, um, but Harley's got the mower pulled right over here. Guys, let me go ahead, let me flip you around Okay guys, quick. so here we are. So Harley's gonna show you how to clean the air filter on a ZT2 Cub Cadet Zero Turn lawnmower. Okay guys, this cannot be any more simple. It's located right back here on the back of the motor. And on the back of the mower, on top of the motor, you just lift the little flap up. Guys, there's a... It's a little hose clamp right here. You just twist to loosen it. And guys, Cub Cadet does recommend every 25 hours you take this out and you clean it. And every 50 hours, you change it completely. It comes with a little protective... Like filter. Filter to protect your actual filter. Yeah. I just go through and like pull most everything off that you can just by hand. Yes, guys. And we are going to be using... An air compressor, that's probably, guys, going to be the best way to do it. But if you don't have an air compressor, you know, just get the, get the majority off everything you can with your hands. Maybe take a little, a little broom to it and try your best, guys, to not get anything into where it sucks the air in. Right there where Harley's covering that, that's, that's the most important part, guys. Do not get anything down into that. So you need to make sure that's completely covered before you blow it. So kind of get the little excess grass out of there. And then Harley's just going to spray, you know, hit it with the air compressor really quickly. And guys, so make sure you spray from the inside out. I mean, look at that. Oh, yeah, guys, that was from the inside out, do not spray from the outside in. Oh yeah, look at that guys, there's a bunch of dust just flew out. And then guys, whenever you feel like you've gotten it good enough, whenever you can kind of look inside and you don't see a whole lot of debris and you feel like you've gotten it out the best you can, then that's going to be good. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect because like I said, guys, this is just a cleaning. It came out pretty clean. Right? Yeah, it looks really it looks good. on the inside. Um, but after, you know, 25 more hours, we will change it completely. And guys, I can't stress enough, you have to keep up the maintenance on your mowers. You have to clean and change this air filter regularly, and you have to change your oil regularly. Guys, that's going to be, from our experience, our number one, yes, every 50 hours. And you change your air filter at the same time you change your oil. So you can remember that. You change them both at the same time clean air filter every 25 hours but guys that's really going to give you the most lifetime out of your mower proper maintenance guys i cannot stress enough you have to take care of your machine if you want your machine to take care of you and cub cadet i cannot if you have if anybody out there has been thinking about getting a cub cadet mower Please don't hesitate. Run to your closest Cub Cadet dealer and get you one of these mowers. I cannot say enough good things about this mower. I love my mower. <laughs> this is the best mower. We've had several different models. We've had the regular Rider, which is I think was a it's like 2012 edition. We had um, another older model, Zero Turn, which was probably around 2016 edition those were not for commercial mowing but they did have a lot a lot of hours on them and this mower is by far hands down my favorite one out of all of them and guys please look forward we plan on doing 
um, it's going to be the end of 2023 season equipment setup. So uh, look out for that video because <laughs> even though most of you guys have already seen all of our equipment, it's a cool video that we've seen going around. So yeah and honestly are for the next season. yeah and i really wish we had all of our old mowers to have them yeah, all lined up <laughs> that would have been yeah. a true lineup we but guys yeah we're thankful for what we do have and we will line them up for you and we'll talk about them a little bit more in depth in another video but guys hold on let me flip you around all right guys thank you so so much yes, for, thank you always uh, thank you yes thank you for clicking on this video Thank you for supporting our channel. If you like this video, guys, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Get us out there in that algorithm. If you're not subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and do that too. Go ahead and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new video. And please, guys, share, 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 share these videos with every single person that you know. Guys, we really, really, really love doing these videos for y'all. And we... We just, we need you guys. We can't do it without you. So no. guys, <laughs> like, share, subscribe, you know, all the things, guys. So uh, thank you so much. And we look forward to doing it again next time. So until, until next time, time see, see ya. ya.